Hey, what's up YouTube? My name's Trevor Islescu and I'm the owner of Monster Hobbies Online. And I'm Danny the Dog. Hey Danny, are you ready for today's video? I sure am. And what are we talking about today? Today we'll be looking at my top 5 entry level, skill level 2 model car kits. Hmm? Skill level 2 entry level model car kits? What does that even mean? Well, Danny, I see that you have built a lot of snap-together model car kits. Yeah, I like pressing all the parts together and then putting on the little stickers. Yes, Danny, and you do a great job. But wouldn't you like to move up from snap-together kits and maybe try some paints and glue? Hmm, but what if there are too many parts? I don't want to get upset with it if it's too hard. I don't blame you, Danny. So that's why I'm going to show you my five favorite easy to build model car kits. Okay, what's the first one? It's AMT Ertl's 1964 Chevrolet Impella Super Sport 2 in 1 model kit. The body is molded in one piece and includes a removable hood. It has a simple chassis with molded in exhaust and front and rear suspension and also uses metal axles with three-piece wheels and tires. You also have a choice of this multi-piece stock built motor or this really wild multi-piece drag racing engine. The interior is molded as a bucket style, much like the Snap Together kits. However, this one comes with a dashboard steering wheel and some extra shift levers, as well as the stock bucket seats and these custom multi-piece seats. You can check out a full unboxing video of this model car right up here. And this is what it looks like when it's finished. Notice the nice fit and finish of all the parts. This model car sure is a real beauty and simple to build. Whoa! That's amazing! Our next entry is this groovy 1971 Hemi Cuda by Ravel Monogram. This 69-piece model kit includes the right amount of parts without making it too difficult to build. Many of the underhood details are molded into the fender aprons, thus reducing the parts count. Now if you'd like to see a full unboxing of this model car kit, check it out in this link above. Like all monogram kits, the parts fit together tightly and accurately. You'll have a lot of fun building this model car, Danny. It's a real cool machine. Oh, cool! I love that car. What ones are you going to suggest next? The next kit on our list is the 1964 Mercury Marauder by AMT Ertl. You can build this model as a factory original. A vintage NASCAR style racer, or as a full out custom car with multiple choices and many, many parts. The body and the chassis are molded in the same simple way as the AMT 1965 Chevrolet Impala and feature metal axles through the wheels and screw together assembly. And the amount of custom parts is huge, and you can use any number of these parts on other model car kits. Now, Danny, if you want to see me unbox this great model, don't forget to click that link up here. Here's my take on the showroom car, and all the chrome trim is actually brush painted on there, which again makes it very nice. I would use bare metal foil if I were to build this model another time. However, I think what I've done here is really quite nice. Wow, I really like that model car. What are you going to show me for your pick number two? If you love vintage sports cars, then this 1963 Corvette by AMT Ertl is perfect for you, Danny. This model kit is like an extra value meal. 
There's a lot of parts in here. You get two choices of a stock small block engine, including one with the carburetor and one with the fuel injection. You also get this amazing small block drag racing option with a blower and a supercharger. As well as two versions of the big block 427 Chevrolet motor. Yet the body, interior and chassis are all simple and easy to put together. Danny, you can watch me unbox this 63 Corvette by following the link up here. Now Danny, this is the perfect kind of car you'd like to test drive too. In fact, I built it as one of the cars in the video game Test Drive 2 way back in the early 1990s. So as you can see, the fit and finish on this kit is really exceptional and really awesome. Uh-oh, it looks like our sports car picked up a little bit of attention from the law. Now, if you know who this nice police officer is, write it in the comments down below. Are you finding this video helpful so far, Danny? Oh, yeah! I don't feel so bad about starting a skill level 2 model kit now. That's great, Danny. Well, maybe before we go on to my number one kit choice, you could smash that like button. That way, YouTube can share this video with all our other model kit building friends. Is it okay if I press it with my paw? <laughs> sure, Danny. You can press that like button with your paw. And hey, if you love building model cars, why not check out the model cars that we have available on our online store by checking out the link in the description below! That's cool. Hey, do you guys want to see something else that's cool? Danny, what are you doing now? Hey everybody, I'm practicing to be the next grumpy cat. I, I don't know, Danny. I, I, don't, I just don't think that's going to work out. Okay, let's start that drum roll and look at our last model car. Our number one choice for best skill level 2 entry level model car kit is the AMT Ertl 1963 Ford Galaxy 500. This model car kit has an almost endless amount of chrome-plated model car parts. Yet the body, interior, and chassis parts are just as simple as the other introductory model kits. The model kit instructions also give you a great guide on how to glue on the special custom nose pieces, apply putty, sand, and paint for the beginner willing to learn how to do custom bodywork. And Danny, check out these cool vintage accessories that come with the car. You get a mascot, a set of bongos, a TV, fire extinguisher, two-piece trophy, two-piece telephone, and an old-style record player. And here's a sample of what some of those little detail parts look like. It also includes an additional disc brake rotor and a jack stand for displaying your model without a wheel on it. I've also done a video review of this gigantic 3-in-1 set, which of course you can find up here. Danny, I love this kit so much I actually bought two of them and built them two different ways. This is of course the factory stock version, and it ends up looking really nice and fits together super well. What do you think of the thing? Let us know down in the comment section below. And this is the custom lowrider version. Now I did use some parts from other model kits, however the majority here is actually from the kit, and these amazing graphics are from tattoos, temporary tattoos that I stuck on the car a very long time ago. So how do you like this one, Danny? Wow! Thank you for showing me all those great model car kits. I can't wait to start to build one of my own. You're welcome, Danny. And if you need a few more suggestions on entry-level model car kits that are fun and easy to build, check out these other four videos that I've made here. Monster Hobbies out!